Hey guys, not really sure what we're going to call this video. I picked this watch up at my local Sam's Club, and this is why. The price tag on this guy was only $124.81. Now when Sam's Club does the $0.81 cents at the end of their price structure, that's the lowest price you're going to see that item in their store. And I'm not sure what it was listed at originally when it showed up, the retail on it is $350. You can see there's the hang tag. Well, maybe. There you can. Um, but uh, I, I couldn't... It was the only one they had, and I'm like, man, that's a killer deal. I didn't really have a chance to look it up. I've had... This is called the Citizen Excalibur. There's a few different uh, model numbers for it. This is the first time I had noticed the silver-colored uh, bezel counter to the 20 or just past the 20 there or whatever. Um... I've had one in the past, I don't remember the model number, it might have been a BN0100, this is the BN0180-51E, the bracelets are really good, um, I didn't measure, we'll do the size here in a minute, but it has a really nice milled clasp, and then this part here is stamped, and there's no micro adjust that's, you know, like the spring bar kind, this actually has the uh, pretty nice bracelet that Citizen does that adjust out like that so in both these brace or watches in the back with the bracelet have that same clasp so if you're not familiar with the Excalibur it's actually a pretty sweet watch it is a 200 meter dive watch has the citizen eco drive movement screw down crown great 60 click bezel action very smooth definitely a nice little fidget spinner for you lines up good the case size on it, let's just measure it real quick because I didn't do it before vid. So. so you're looking at just under 41 mil. I measure at like 40.88 or something. The lug to lug is about 49 mil. The thickness is about 11 and a half. The lug width, if I remember right, is something weird. Yeah, like 23. But then it tapers down to uh, almost a 20. So the lug width is kind of weird. It's just over 22 where I believe these guys in the back are 22 mil. So like I started to say, I picked it up because of the crazy low price. I remember having an Excalibur in the past. I can't remember if I did a video on it or not. I think I may have. Um, they seem to present a really good value option for you if you're, you know, fine with the quartz watch which i am and i think most of you guys are too really nice uh minute hand there well the whole hand set is really nice it's super legible easy to read nice applied indices if we zoom in here you can see uh, nice applied indices it's very simple it's not all cluttered uh, i'm sure it's some sort of mineral crystal i doubt it's sapphire you have a screw down case back that says do not remove and you shouldn't have to you know, it's, it should run a long time before the cell goes bad on it or something. So I went and looked up the prices on these things, and they're actually not a ton of them for sale from what I've noticed, and they are trending much closer to the actual retail price. So I don't know if they discontinued this model, and then the prices are just kind of being adjusted as the inventory dries up, but the Excalibur watch is actually pretty slick. So if you guys are looking for one, you might want to do a little bit of research on it and figure out, uh, you know, a good time to buy it. Because on wrist, it wears great. The bracelet is, is super nice. I didn't size it. But uh, it's easily a really nice everyday grab-and-go quartz watch. It's going to be super accurate. I'm really a big fan of this. Um, and at that price point, I mean, that's that's a steal. Even these, uh, so this is like the BN0151, or that's a 151, that's the blue. This is the 150, the black dial with the orange hand. Um, these are also really good value options, and I've owned a couple of these as well. Um, I'm not sure I had one on bracelet, though. I think I always had one with the strap, because that is the most common way you find these. Most cases, you'll be able to pick one of these up for, like, pretty cheap, $130 for the watch, but it's going to come on this strap, which is okay, but it's not as good as the metal bracelet is. So, and it has the same style clasp. 
and it's super comfy. So um, I believe this might be a, like a 43 or 44 millimeter watch. I can't really remember. This bracelet's a little tight on me. You can see it's choking me. So I'll get it off before I get wrist claustrophobic. This was a used watch that my buddy Doug sent in. Actually, I could adjust it a little bit with that dive extension. There. Now it's not choking me. So you can see it wears great on wrist. Still super accurate. Really nice supplied indices. Offset crown, which you guys know I'm a big fan of. All of these watches have great loom. Excellent bezel action. And again, these watches... Like I said, you can pick them up still for like 150 bucks, 130 dollars, something like that. But it's going to come on the strap, and then if you can find the bracelet for these guys, I think the bracelet alone is trending at around 100 dollars. Excellent bezel action, 60 clicker again, standard citizen citizen uh, style uh, bezel action there. Nice fidget spinner, if you will. So again, 200 meter watch. I'll give you a loom shot at the end. Um, these two actually come with these really cool like uh, tank style things display this guy just came in that standard packaging I showed you at the beginning so um, I don't know let me you guys let me know what you guys think about these uh, citizen quartz diver offerings and I see some of the newer ones coming out they're getting a little bit bigger and bigger so I'm not really sure what citizens uh, plan is or maybe that's just what's selling I guess um, but if you have a Sam's Club nearby, no guarantee they're going to have the Excalibur because their inventory is just wacky. You never know. But if you do have like a Sam's Club or a, um, what's the other one, a Costco, um, and if you have a membership, even if you don't, I think you can go in and, uh, you know, take a peek or whatever. But sometimes they have some pretty cool deal on like the really affordable stuff. I bought some G-Shocks there. I bought this. I'm not sure I ever bought a Seiko there or not, but... They have some good deals on watches there occasionally. So let me close you guys out with a loom shot. Hopefully you took something from this. I just like these Citizen watches and I wanted to share them with you. Let you know that there are some really good offerings from the Citizen line in the quartz range. Um, and keep an eye out for those Excalibur. So let me give you a loom shot here for these guys. You can see they glow really good. And you have that uh, nice cool blue. I don't know what they use. It's probably some sort of proprietary loom. I don't know if it's BGW9. And then their loom pips are always that green dot on these. So excellent job. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. And I will see you very soon on the next video.